Salad is good again. Let this video be your PSA to get started on Salad so you can make passive income with your gaming PC. Yeah, that's real money to your account with your gaming PC or if you've used it in the past and you stopped, it's probably time to give it another look because I've been making more money than I have been with this PC and the two others that I have running right here in my house. So in this video, what we're gonna do is cover just how to get started with Sal. It'll give you the tools and resources that you need. We'll look at the very real earnings that this PC is making and the two others that I'm running as well. Look at my lifetime earnings so you can see just how much this can really pay you. And I'm gonna go into a couple questions that have come up quite a bit. Number one is, well, that's great that that's making that much money, but how much power is your PC pulling in order to do that? Well, here it is right there, and this machine is running a workload right now. We'll go into this more in just a little bit. And the second one is this setting that some people have on, some people have off. I've used back and forth, but I think I finally decided that the weird things happening on my home network are exactly because of this setting. So I'm gonna show you and recommend what setting that is that you should probably turn off. But let's just get started with what this is. This is a CyberPower pre-built PC that I bought a while ago, uh, but in it right now is an RTX 4090 and also 64 gigabytes of RAM. And this is the one of the PCs I have running right now. I have an RTX 3090 PC. It's down on the floor over there. And then my main small form factor PC upstairs has a 4070 Ti Super in it. And it's kind of just been a carousel of GPUs since I started doing this. Other 3090s have come in and out of these PCs. Uh, I also had a 3060 in the beginning, in and out of these PCs. So those are the cards I've been running when you look at my earnings for my lifetime in a little bit, just to give you an idea. But let's take a look right now at this PC. We'll head over uh, and look at Salad right now. And you can see that over the next hour, as it's currently running a job, it's estimated to make between 11 cents and up to 25 cents per hour over the next hour, but you can also see in the last 24 hours, cumulatively, all three PCs have made me almost $8 in revenue over that time frame. A little bit more about this PC, when I head over to the performance tab, you can see there it is, very real, RTX 4090 is in there, and then there's that uh, Intel i7 processors in here, and then this last setting is bandwidth sharing, that's the tricky one, that's the tricky one. I'm gonna go more on that later in this video. But the best tool that has come out probably since I made the last video I made on Sal, which I'll leave linked up in the card up there, is the Salad Network Monitor. And it's over on salad.com slash earn slash demand. And what this shows you, I'm gonna give it a refresh here, is what the demand is for certain GPU types on the Salad platform. And so you can see all the supported GPUs down here, the recommendations for system RAM and storage, and then these ones are in just low demand, so probably not picking up a workload or a job. There's just no customers on the other end for it. And you can see some of these are in moderate demand. Now, I'll say this, for like the last week and a half, I've been getting nonstop alerts for the 4090 being in high demand just before making this video. It switched over to moderate though, you'll take a look at the earnings that that's making and has made just today uh, in a second here. But you can choose to get notified. And what'll happen is you'll get an email alert. You'll get an alert here on the website. Then also you will get an alert in the actual Salad app on your screen as a notification that the GPUs you chose to be notified for are currently in high demand. So love this. Great ability to track when you should get going on Salad. So, Let's go take a look at my actual earning summary. So this is lifetime, and I'm pretty proud of this. Lifetime, I've made over $1,200 on those three PCs with just that, again, carousel of GPUs going through them. Um, and you can see that I've been chopping for almost 9,000 hours worth of uptime on these PCs, and I've redeemed 10 rewards, and those 10 rewards were all $100 PayPal payout. So uh, $1,000 have been paid out to my PayPal. But 
Um, in the last 30 days, only $54, which when you compare 30 days and what I've just made in the last 24 hours, almost $8, you can see that there's just been more demand coming onto the salad platform uh, for all of us. And we'll take a look at charts and stuff here in a second. One of the updates that they brought to their platform here is just the ability to see when your machines were last seen. And this is super helpful because the 3090 PC that's on the floor there was not picking up any jobs or it would pick it up and then drop it pretty quickly. And what I noticed is that even though it was online and I could remote into it, the last scene would just go up hours and hours and hours and hours. And so it was either one or two things. One is it wasn't actually letting salad through the firewall. It wasn't whitelisted, even though I had the settings right. So I made some manual adjustments there. Um, or two, the network adapters were going to sleep. So I set those to not go to sleep over in uh, the device management. And then one of those two things fixed it. So that's been picking up consistent jobs ever since then. So that's really helpful. The current earning rate on there, it's, I've seen it populate sometimes. It hasn't really been accurate. So hopefully there's some tweaks coming to that in the future. But let's go take a look at my very real last 24 hours earnings. And this is broken down by machine. So first question usually is, how do I figure out what machine is what machine if I'm running multiple ones of these? So uh, what you can do is go over to the Salad app and go click on the salad icon here, go to settings, and then scroll down in the bottom, you'll see the machine ID. So this 4090 machine ends in BF, which means it's this one in the light green that you see right there, which again, going back today, 25, 26 cents an hour, going up even more, uh, almost 28 cents per hour, and it's just been holding this workload really steady um, since then. I also have, the 3090, which is over here right now, and you can see it's also actively running a job, which is paying between nine cents up to 21 cents per hour. And this machine, if we go over to the settings and take a look, is the one ending in 0F. And so that's the one in this pink purple color right here. So those have both been doing incredibly well, which leaves the 4070 Ti Super Machine to be that one in the blue, which just really, there's just no demand for it. It hasn't really been doing that well. And let's go just take a look at the last seven days instead. And you can see there's just been an upswing in demand for both the 3090 and the 4090, which is why I'm having such a great day with it today. The other update that they've made to the website here is the ability to look at this as a table, which I think is wonderful. So here's each GPU broken down per day, what it has made. And looking at March 1st, that's when I'm making this video. Um, you can see that 4090 making, it'll make five over $5 uh, by the time this day is over. It's, it's around nighttime right now, like nine o'clock. So a couple hours left. Um, but I also can look at this as an aggregate of all the machines running together. And there it is, I'll, I'll finish today making over $8. But look at just going back the last week. I mean, that money just really hasn't been there. Even going back the last 30 days, you know, I'm quickly going through, but that money just hasn't been there, but like now it is. And so that's why I'm like, you guys gotta get going if you've turned this off or you haven't used it yet. So one of the things that I'll answer right now is that's all great, Mike. But if your PCs are pulling like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of watts, that's probably cutting into the actual money that you're making because you're paying that in electricity. Well, if you've been paying attention in this video to this power meter right here, which is plugged directly into this PC, right now it's pulling under 80 watts. I've seen it as I've been filming this video, doing different takes, go up to like 250 for maybe a minute and then it drops right back down and stays around 80 watts. So it's, I mean, it's pulling nothing. The fan's not even going on the GPU. You can't, yeah, you can see it in the video. It's not even going. So I don't know what magic is happening with Salad and how they pull this off, but they're paying me all that money and I'm not paying really anything in electricity to do this. So as far as I'm concerned, that is free money for running an app on my computer. And yes, this is all safe. Salad's been around for quite a while. You have nothing to worry about take my word for it, you get some extra cash uh, in your hand. So the other thing that is come up quite a bit, some people have it on, some people have it off, is that bandwidth sharing 
setting. So where you can see that is in the performance tab. You can see it right here. Um, also, if you go to configure hardware, it's gonna be in this workload types and it's the video streaming one. So go to configure workload types manually and toggle this one off if you're running into these issues. If you have any streaming services that are all of a sudden giving you errors, blocking you, not letting you sign in or play anything, it's because of this. And I ran into that. Everything under that Disney platform umbrella, so Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN, as soon as I went to play any content, it would just give me errors that I didn't understand and didn't help me try to figure out what was going on. And so what eventually somebody over online said, if you have this on, you're probably going to get blacklisted from your ISP for the streaming services because they think you're using a VPN or something because ultimately you are, you're sharing your bandwidth for others to use to stream video. And so if you're running into those issues, turn this off and you'll probably have to reset your modem, unplug it for a while and wait for your ISP to give you a new public IP address that doesn't have this block on it. That is what happened to me. I still can't get a new IP address, so I can't watch any of that stuff. It's been like a week now. I've unplugged my modem for a while, plugged it back in. It just, the lease, it's not giving up the lease on the IP address. So hopefully just enough time will pass and this will drop off. But I know this one, some people have it on, some people have it off. I want to make sure that I covered it in this video. I think that is everything I wanted to cover and just get out to you so you can get up and get some money going. Um, and then if you have anything that I missed, any new stuff on sale that you like, what GPUs are you running? How's earnings been lately? Let me know down in the comments section. And again, to get started and let them know that I sent you their way, uh, I do have a special link that you can use. I'll leave it down in the description and the pinned comment. And if you haven't got started yet on Salad, I have a full installation video. You'll see it right on the screen here. It's from a little while ago, but it's still relevant. Nothing has really changed since then. And if you're looking for other ways to make money with your gaming PC, I'll also have a video to get you started earning Bitcoin so you can get some cryptocurrency as well. But otherwise, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.